Why do you have different antenna specifications? Keep it simple, keep it real. Now we have been at the Melbourne Caravan Show uh, last week and it was quite an interesting uh, opportunity and as you could see on our channel already, the presentation that I gave is also on our channel. That's, um, that's obviously hopefully quite a lot of information and I will break it down and make a shorter version of each of those topics so it's handy to say. One pet peeve that I have come across a lot though during the um, actual presentation is the fact that antennas get specif specified without explicit knowledge of what it actually means. I think the biggest issue I have is that people often take an antenna for um, on face value based on the specification you see on the paper. So say something is a 7 dBi antenna, they say well it's a 7 dBi antenna, but it doesn't quite work that way. It's actually much more complicated and it's more than just a quick video that I can explain. This. So I'm going to have to break this down into a few more bits and pieces that I can explain. But fundamentally the one thing that you need to remember is an antenna in 4G and 5G actually goes from an antenna that is really big at 700 megahertz band 28 or the lowest frequencies and in the US even lower, the antennas need to be bigger because what we call the wavelength is longer. So for an antenna to actually be effective, it needs to be a bigger antenna. Now in 5G frequencies, 3.8 gigahertz, which is five times higher in frequency, if I just move my hand here, as you can see, it's much closer. The antennas can be up to five times smaller and get the same performance as the big one here and the smaller one here for 5G. It's just one of those fundamentals that over frequency size changes, but your antenna doesn't change because what you purchased is this thing. So it has the same size in what we use for band 28 or the lower frequencies and the same size is also used in the high frequencies. Now granted inside the antenna the, um, the, the antenna engineers would do all sorts of stuff to make sure that it kind of scales to where it should work. But fundamentally, if you have a very small antenna and it says, wow, man, this thing can go 10 dBi again, it probably can do that number in the high frequency, in the 5G frequencies, but there's no way that there's something that is, let's say, this small, the five centimeter in my hand, I mean, it's just a, a size, where it should be this big, that size antenna is suddenly very small. Small means it's not going to have the gain that you think it is. So when somebody says my gain is consistent from the lowest where it can be up to the highest where I want to be, unless it's a log periodic dipole array, LPDA, it looks like a fishbone that has all the elements that go gradually smaller, it's not likely to be true. So have a look at it. Now what I'm actually saying is you know what, if you don't care about this, you don't really want to think about this, that's perfectly fine because that's what I get excited about and I don't expect other people to be excited about the same stuff. So come to RF shop, visit us, call us, go on our, on our um, online chat, we'll um, cable myself or Annika will be behind it and we'll um, try and explain this to you or at least just help you to get the best selection. So fundamentally, if you want antenna help for your 4G system, for your Wi-Fi system, GPS or anything else, come to rfshop.com.au. We will help you make the best decisions, but don't just take any salesman that walks in the door, take his word for it. There is actually a proper science to it. Thanks for watching. This is me in my new studio. I'm pretty excited. This is much simpler for me, so I just can sit down and quickly do a video. This is not even shot on a proper camera. This is shot on my iPhone 14, uh, 13, so I don't have that luxury. And I think it works good enough. Um, I'm going to change set settings, but anyway, that's beside the point. Um, it feels like I should say I'm back. I'm very excited to be back and um, see you in the next video. Cheers. Bye-bye.